Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A ball of mass m falls freely from rest. When it has reached a speed of v, it strikes a vertical spring. The spring is compressed by a distance y before the ball begins to move upwards. Assume that all the energy the ball losses becomes elastic potential energy in the spring. What is the average force exerted by the spring during its compression? First of all, my dear students, this I, I don't think that this is uh, previously asked in um, IB examinations for physics, but uh, some student has sent me this question. And personally, I believe this question is very, very good. And it's um, it, I, I will say it, it has multiple concepts involved. So this is one of the most difficult questions. So let us see uh, how to do this question. Now, the question says that this ball is a falling from certain height, so much so that the velocity it gains when it hits the spring is V. So all the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. Okay. Now, this kinetic energy is used to compress the spring. From one point to the another, the spring is compressed and the compression is Y and the spring constant is K. So now what happens? Do not directly jump to the formula F is equal to KY in this question. This question actually belongs to work energy power. So we will concentrate on the conversion of energy from one form to another. Now, at this point, the ball is having only and only kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy of the ball will be half MV square, which is now converted into the potential energy of the spring. Now, what is the potential energy of the spring? It will be half k y square. But along with it, there is one more energy that is given from the ball to the spring. And that is the potential energy. Because even the ball is going down by the distance y. So, our equation will be that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So, the total energy is half mv square plus mgy. Because the ball has now compressed the spring. So the ball is also moving downwards. So it is losing the potential energy. So this potential energy also together with the kinetic energy is now stored in the spring when the complete system comes at rest. Now this is our final equation first of all. Now what do we want is we want to find the average force exerted by the spring. So we all know that in the cases of springs, the force is never constant. It is dependent on the displacement of the spring and it is given by F is equal to KY. So instantaneously, the force is a variable quantity. But because it is said that we want to find an average, now this may serve us as a hint. Like why do you want an average force? And which is the formula where we use average force? It is only and only work. Now the work done in compressing the spring is given by the force into distance. Now this is force and this is distance. So what happens is this work done in compressing the spring is now stored as the potential energy. So this potential energy should be equal to the work done. So equating both of these, I will say that this will be equal to F average into the displacement, which is Y. So now from here, we will find F average. We will divide Y here. So F average will be half MV square divided by Y plus MG Y divided by Y. So Y will get canceled with Y. I have just cross multiplied Y here in the denominator. Okay, so we will get this equation. So now what do we want? We take the LCM here mv square plus twice of mgy divided by 2y and now we take m by 2y common because in two these two equations they have taken this common so m goes like this so it will become v square plus 2gy and d will be our answer so this is how <coughs> we solve this question. Okay, dear students. So this is Professor Varun. All the best.